Hello cartooners, welcome to Cartooning with Paul. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to draw Justice League's Hawk Girl. So come on, let's get started. All right guys, we're working our way through Bruce Timm's Justice League and we can't forget that feisty female Hawk Girl. So, without further ado, let's dive in. All right guys, we're gonna follow along with the design that came off of the model sheets. So we're gonna start off with the basic head shape. We're just gonna throw in that circle and uh, give that a, a little bit of an extension, like an egg shape and a horizontal and a vertical axis. Now I'm gonna come down that vertical axis, continue on through, cause that's going to help us keep things symmetrical in the design. So I'm gonna give her a little bit of a neck and then I'm going to throw in a little bit of shoulder line and we're going to bow in just like that. That way we've got a chest here. But I also like to come down here like so, give that little upside down triangle shape and then underneath there I will throw in a triangle like so. That's going to give me that hourglass figure that we need, right? And this right here is going to give us um, bottom of the rib cage goes here, which means that the top of the costume will go here like that throw in some detail lines here like so and her waist is right in here I'm gonna throw in that belt and then from there I know that the hips and the briefs are gonna go in like that now I'm gonna take a measurement from the top of her head down to the bottom of her torso I'm gonna bring it down and that's where the, the floor is going to go. Halfway between the hips and the feet are, uh, let's see, hip. Yep, yep, I found it. There's the sweet spot. That's where the knees are going to go. So, because Bruce Tim's model sheets have their legs close together, we're just going to bring in the shape in like this to the knee and then we're gonna bow out a little bit for the calf muscles and come in remember I put in that line that's gonna keep everything symmetrical and let's see little divots for the knees like that I'm gonna come down and in like so Feet. I'll just do it like this. Like that. All right, so when drawing in Hot Girl's body shape, um, she has some broad shoulders, but they're not nearly as broad as Wonder Woman. She's a little more delicately put together. So we're going to throw in um, a shoulder here like that. I want to make sure that it's symmetrical. So shoulder will come down like this. The inside line of the arm, often just a straight line coming down like that. And we're gonna throw in elbow will go here. So the forearm will come out a little bit up here and then come right in. Same thing with this. You don't want these arms bulky like the men because we want some um, some delicacy toward the character as well and then we're just gonna follow the model sheet and have those hands down by her side okay let's now that I get that in there let's just um, got a waist in just a little too thin all right very good Let's throw in her face. So, 
Our eyes are going to rest here right above that horizontal line. And we're just gonna come in like this. Now they played up her face with some hawk eye shapes. So we're going to, uh, I'm gonna give the brow down there like that. These eyes aren't exactly symmetrical. We'll fix those. Okay, so the eye slits in the, in the mask are cut up like that and they extend out a little bit. And then from there, the nose will come down about halfway between the eye line and the chin. So we're gonna come in like that. We're not gonna draw in a nose. We're gonna draw in a triangular shape like so. And it's going to curve out. Um, yeah, like that. Okay in the top of her head like this, but we're going to flare it out. The design of the mask, and you'll notice I'm kind of leaving things, I'm jumping around. Um, the eye mask will look like this. It's gonna be two-toned. This bottom part is gonna be black. And the upper part is a beige color. I'm going to be doing some cleanup at the end of this because this is, let's see. Okay, so I've got the shape of the mask like this. Let's come down like that. She's got this, it's a Thundergarian uh, war piece, the, the, the helmet. So let's. So she's got these protective parts here on the sides of her, on the sides of her mask. And let's give her that no-nonsense expression. And let's go back into the headpiece. And we're going to just lightly throw in. Shape like this. All right, so we're going to clean this up considerably. Top of head and up like this. So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back into the, the headpiece and we're going to give it a like a feather motif. There are three cuts in it to make it look like feathers on either side. I'm just gonna shade this in so you can differentiate the color. And now, I'm not happy with the shoulders. I drew them up a little high. I'm gonna elongate the neck a little bit. And there we go. Yes, that's much better. All right. Guys, I don't get it right the first time every time. Sometimes you gotta you gotta throw in some bad lines to find the good ones. Okay. 
So now that we get that in, let's throw in that beautiful red hair of hers. Oh, and you can't forget her earrings right there like that. Okay, we got the hair in there. Now, I am going to throw in those wings. Okay. So it starts like that, right? Okay. I want to try to keep this as symmetrical as I can here. Yeah, that's better. Okay. So the the wings come out like this. And then they're going to come in on the body. Like that. I'm going to try to mimic that on this side. Let's see. Now, we've got the structural part of the inside of the wings right here. Just like that. It's gonna come down like this. Then what we do is we're gonna separate the layers of the wings. Okay, that's gonna be one group of feathers. And then I'm gonna cut that into half there. So we've got three different layers of feathering. And then we just come up. Just like so. Don't worry about showing all of it. Because it is supposed to be in the background to the character. Now I'm gonna go back into the body here. I drew her briefs a little high. So I'm gonna bring that down a little bit. Just like so. And there's some excess material in here. There are always some kind of wrinkles or folds there. Her legs are a dark green. And instead of giving it um, some shadow, instead they give it a highlight. So it'll be a lighter green right here. Same effect they did with Flash. He's a dark red and they gave him a highlight for a lighter red. Kind of gives it a velvety look when it's colored. And then for the boots, the boots kind of flare out a little bit at the top. I'm just going to have them overlap a little bit. Okay, and then there is a yellow stripe that goes up the center of that boot. Okay, I'm not exactly thrilled with the headpiece, so I'm going to just give it a little bit more definition. That looks much better. All right. And then have her kind of glaring right at us.
Guys, if you like drawing this with me, I've got some other videos right over here for you that would make a great compliment with this video. I want to thank you guys so much for joining me today. And until the next video, we'll see you later.